we want to look at calculation on heat and the statement we have here says assuming that heat Q in joules is supplied to a body of mass kilogram and specific heat capacity in joules per kilogram per kelvin such that the temperature of the body changes from the initial temperature theta 1 to the final temperature theta 2 then we will have that the heat supplied is given by before we go to the expression for the heat supply i want us to really look at the quantities and their units it's very important because when you see the si unit it tells you what the quantity is the moment i see joules i know that the quantity is work or heat or energy so looking at the the unit here kilogram tells me that the quantity is mass even when the statement mass is not written the moment you see the quantity you should be able to know what or the moment you see the si unit you should be able to know what the quantity is so that of specific heat capacity here is joules per kilogram per kelvin and the statement says that we had a temperature change from initial temperature i want us to know that the word initial means the temperature from the beginning and then the final temperature is the new temperature okay so let's go down to the expression q equals to mc change in theta from the statement that heat is being supplied to a body of course the body has mass and then that body has specific heat capacity so the m here represents the mass the c here represents the specific heat capacity of the body and then the change in theta here represents the differences in temperature so how do we get that you subtract theta 2 minus theta 1 okay so the change in temperature equals to theta 2 minus theta 1 the unit of temperature is in degrees celsius or in kelvin so don't forget about that if we are to make the specific heat capacity c the subject of this expression we will derive a new expression which is q over m change in c if we're dividing through by the coefficient of c which is m and change in c we will get a new expression for specific heat capacity c equals to q over m change in c so let's uh, memorize this expression as well because we are going to make use of it so what is this specific heat capacity specific heat capacity c of a substance is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of a substance by one degree celsius or by one kelvin the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of a substance by one kelvin before we look at the problem there are some things we are going to still consider from that equation one if you look at it critically we have q equals to mc change in theta okay so look at it here q equals to mc change in theta mc theta so here i decided to enclose in a bracket the product of mass and specific heat capacity mc this mc means another quantity which is the heat capacity cp look at it here so in place of mc i decide to replace cp here don't be confused about that so i call this equation four what i mean is the heat capacity 
is equal to the product of mass and the specific heat capacity as shown in the equation 5. So if we are to make M here the subject of the formula, then we will have that M equals to Cp over C, dividing through by the coefficient of M, which is C, we will get equation 6. What am I trying to say? From equation 4, we had that Q equals to Cp change in theta. Another way we can write equation 1. Okay, so I decided to bring that down. And if we are to make Cp the subject of the expression in equation 4, then we will have equation 7. Q over change in theta. When we divide Cp by the coefficient of, or when we divide um, equation 4 by the coefficient of Cp, then we have Q over change in theta. The Cp there means thermal capacity, or you call it heat capacity. Cp. So the heat capacity of a body is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of the body by 1 Kelvin. The SI unit is in joules per kilogram. Look at the definition very well. The quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a body by um, 1 Kelvin. Okay, so let's quickly move down to this pr uh, problem here. The example says, a metal rod with heat capacity 600 joules per Kelvin, that is Cp, is heated until its temperature changes from 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. So you now see that the initial temperature of that body is 40 degrees Celsius and the final temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. So the option now says calculate the quantity of heat supplied to the rod. Quantity of heat supplied to the rod A. B. If the specific heat capacity of the rod is 390 joules per kilogram per Kelvin, find the mass of the rod. Okay, so what we need to do is we are going to list the quantities given to us in the equation. For A, the first quantity is heat capacity Cp, which is 600 joules per Kelvin. And the second quantity is the change in temperature. Of course, we have theta 2 minus theta 1. So theta 1 was 40 degrees Celsius from the equation here. Then uh, theta 2 is 80 degrees Celsius. When you subtract that, you have 40 degrees Celsius. Now, even if we convert this to Kelvin, would still give us the same answer. So I just choose to ignore this as well. But then, even if we should convert it to Kelvin, I mean the uh, SI unit to Kelvin and then subtract, we will still get 40. So in that case, I have decided to ignore that. And we know that from equation 5, Q equals to Cp change in theta. From the instruction, the question said, calculate the quantity of heat supplied to the rod. So the quantity of heat supplied to the rod, the question gave us the heat capacity and the change in theta. The equation that is suitable to solve that problem is equation 5 because it comes with the, the heat capacity and the change in temperature. So by the time we substitute the values into equation 5, we will get 
the expression this 40 times 600 uh, 600 times 40 64 is 24 so we will get 24,000 joules of energy 24,000 joules of energy which we can as well write it as 24 kilojoules okay so let's look at the second question the B if the specific heat capacity of the rod is 390 joules per kilogram per Kelvin find the mass of the rod okay so we are being given specific heat capacity C which is written here and then we are to find the mass of the rod and we already have the heat capacity to be 600 joules per Kelvin so we now check the quantities we have and the equations from the list of equations that we have here which one is suitable of course we have decided to go with equation 4 m equals to cp over c in this case so the mass would be 600 divided by specific heat capacity 390 So when you divide 600 by specific heat capacity, you get the value 1.54 kilogram. Okay, so I think we we have come to the end of today's class. So I would like you to support our channel by clicking on the subscription button. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.